place full. Creek was up. Oh, that's wet right there. Is that wet right there? Is that just a, that's just a shadow, isn't it? I think, yeah, you're alright. It's right. an undry. Mm. My basement was full. Oh, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'll be nice when it's done. Sure. Ready? Yep. Well, She's rolling. Wolf's got to get some coal if you need it. That's what we're going to have. Take it easy. Uh, here, Jerry, is the is the yard at at uh, Slade Fork. We'll start right here and come around through this corner, and then land someplace over towards towards this corner here to the right. And it'll be and you've kind of designed a doggone thing. I wanted to make it a make it a through yard, and you're telling me now it's going to have to be a it's going to have to be a stub yard. Uh, nevertheless, it'll still be about a four-track. It'll be about a four-track yard, and the engine house, uh, the two-stall engine house there with the engine facilities. The town behind it that will that will be behind it will be up against the wall here, and that'll be uh, uh, like standing in the middle of the railroad yard at Grafton, and, and and looking at the city up against the hill, and you're looking at the back of the buildings on Main Street in Grafton, and that's what we'll be doing here. We'll have we'll have that same situation. Then. The, the railroad will make a curve around through the corner and come back out here on a peninsula, about to where, about to where we're standing, where this pile of lumber is, and it'll come through a, it'll come through a pretty sizable cut here on the end of the peninsula. Uh, it'll be a double track main line, and it'll come around to about in this area right in here, uh, and we'll we're going to a single track main line. It'll start at two and a half percent. Uh, two and a half percent grade. It'll make one loop up around the hill, and most of that will be inside the tunnel. You'll pop out, so that you'll be able to walk with the train. You'll leave the yard over there, and you'll walk around over on this side, and you'll stay plugged into this side, and you'll be able to operate the train as it comes out of this tunnel and across uh, a duck under right here. Now, this duck under is going to be at, at just about the level that I've got pictures. It's going to be at right at 62 inches. And uh, it will have a passing siding at the top of the summit. And then we'll, we'll, we'll start down this other side, and it'll be, uh, that'll be going down on about a 1% grade. Uh, all the way clear down to the far corner back over here where the lawn furniture is now. It'll make a loop around, and in the, the head of that loop will be a, uh, a single track trestle, very similar to the one at Pleasants Creek, West Virginia, on the on the B&O's G and B. Uh, still on the 1%, come down through here, there'll be, in that corner also, under that under that bridge will be a coal mine. There'll be a passing siding as soon as we get to the, get around and get straight down on, on the uh, on the reverse of that, of that loop. And uh, it'll come uh, back through, it'll go through this wall. There'll be a siding, well, maybe I'll say there was a siding, but there will be a siding right here It'll go through the wall here at the 58 inch level uh, and over into the next room. And I don't know, do you want to follow and uh, go on over to the next room then, Jerry? Let's see, where's that 58 inch? I hope you're not recording, are you? Oh, well, gosh. The 58 inch block. The 58 inch block is right here. It's just half a block right here beside the uh, uh, fuse box. Okay, we'll be coming through here at 58. We pretty much a level run. And as you can see, we've used some of the old, the old bench work, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. But there'll be a level run, and right about this, this area right in here, there'll be a, there'll be a street run, very similar to uh, what's it on the, uh, at Brownsville, Pennsylvania, and I believe that's on the Monongahela Railroad. So it'll be a street run here for a little stretch, and then, and this shelf will be, this shelf may be as much as 18 inches wide in places, but probably going to be closer to a foot wide. So it'll be a narrow shelf railroad. And then in this area right here, there'll be a, uh, well, I don't know, I call it kind of a busy buddy, but Jerry, I don't know, what do you what do you call it? A time saver. A time saver. But anyway, it'll be about four or five industries here in a place where it's you know, enough room for one engine and two cars on each end of the switchback. And, uh, and we figure, well, you know, that'll give, that'll give some guy something to do for four hours of an operating section. Just send, you know, if you got the spare operator, you just send him on this time, send him over here and let him switch these industries. We'll come around through the, uh, 
the, the end of this room on another loop and we'll come into another small a small yard and it'll probably be about a three or a four track yard and then the major entrance engine facility will be right here now I haven't liked that idea very well but I don't think we got enough room for a we don't have anything enough room here for a major yard so it's going to have to be a small four track yard uh, the Helgen Roundhouse will be here with the turntable and then we'll come out into this area right here and there'll be a 30 inch helix and we'll make four turns in the helix down right. and we're going to come back out 16 inches below at uh, let's see about the 42 inch level which is just about just about this level right here and about to level this bench work again we're going to go around back around through uh, the other end of the under end of this room here come back out and we'll come into this will be a major staging yard uh, we originally thought that we had 24 inch bench work here that we could use 12 tracks but it's probably going to end up being a six or an eight track staging yard uh, regards of what some of the guys in some of the publications have said about it. But, uh, and then we'll go back through uh, this wall. As you can see, we're going to go back through one, one block, uh, one block lower. And uh, that'd be 16 inches. We'll be 16 inches below, back into the other room. Uh, on about a 1% grade to the far corner, we're going to make one turn in a helix, and that'll give us the 16 inches, we, the, the, uh, this, the room when we need to get back up uh, to get to the 49 inch yard level over here at uh, Slady Fork. And uh, uh, Jerry, it, as you can see right now, uh, doesn't look like it's going to be much of a railroad in here just yet. We've got a lot of we got a lot of junk to get out of here. <laughs> a little off Fraser. There you go. Right there. Uh, What's the name of it? He's back! <laughs> come along, come along. Got Lin Young at work here. Hard work, hardest working member of the crew. He works when nobody else is here. That's right. I got Gary Burdett, the cut man. Cut man, that's my eyes away. Gotta have, every railroad's <laughs> gotta have a cut man. Took my eyes away from me. Just call me Gary Scissorhands. <laughs> here's his handiwork. Here's his handiwork. Uh, here's his handiwork right here. The last row is the key row. There's the yard. That's virgin yard there. Virgin plywood. I get a view of this. Oh the yeah. The dock of Gibraltar. The dock of Gibraltar. Saw <laughs> Sound of the dollar bill. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, man. Heck yeah. What did he tear up? Nothing. Sack of silly lumber fell over. And look at all these risers here. Chip, 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 chip. And we have the earthwork done all the way up to the summit. Split it down. Hey Mike, how did we mess that up, buddy? This thing here? Yeah. Oops. I told you to put it on the outside, I think, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Can we get it back out of there? Because we were going to top mountain onto that, weren't we? Right. <laughs> 
Sounds good. <laughs> okay. How about the splice here? I'm going yeah. to get it. Yeah, get it. You, you know why. Uh, just get it from the top. Yeah, it dries better from the top. But we don't want to take it apart. It's going to be terrible, isn't it? Mmm, bad news. Let me come in and tighten that splice up just a little bit. Yeah. St. Patrick's Day. Nope, try again. Uh, Boxing Day. Nope, try again. Um, April 10th. April 10th. Right. April 10th, 1991. November the 31st. <laughs> We're here for a day of sun and fun on the Grafton and Greenbrier Railroad. Sun and fun on the Grafton and Greenbrier Railroad. Uh, oh. <clears throat> ah. Okay, Jerry, show us what you did today. I didn't do anything. Didn't do anything. I sat on this and said, you're, Oh, you're, you're a lot taller now. <laughs> I what I did today. I cut this piece of perfectly good hummus out into this shape. The Lionel Saber Saw. <laughs> now they're making straight fun of my Saber Saw again. <laughs> Just because it smells like a Lionel train <laughs> running 70 miles an hour doesn't mean they gotta call it the Lionel Saber Saw. JD, what do you think? I think we're making a railroad. Then it's prepared. He's going out grocery shopping. Oh, wow. Hey, thanks for the new switches. Yeah. You need some of those. Hey. He even took care of the straightaway. Oh, this. You know what? Uh, hey, Jerry. Plenty of flex track. On the first 70 feet of main line, there's that little two foot section over there where those crossovers are over there at the uh, JD cabin. Yeah? Yeah. What were you saying a minute ago? I said this is going to be a world-class railroad when we're done with it. World-class? Yes, sir. Or a little too much. Right here we have a one-beer roadbed lane job. I carried out the, I carried out a five-gallon bucket, bucket of beer can. It's out of this place <laughs> <laughs> about two weeks ago. <laughs> I say you get it in, in best alignment. Anyway, I was going to... Yeah, run that track. Got, I've got a little short section of main line right over here to finish up, Gary. But you know this one right here. Uh huh. This little short piece right here to finish up, right here, JD Cabin, and then and, that, and it'll be all it'll be done. The main line will be done, except for except for sticking the uh, styrene under the under the. Uh, Jerry, what we've got here is this is the Burnett Mine Turn. You know what I noticed after we put that main line on that road bed? And then I had, you know, I've been running, I can run them over here in the yard too. Uh, I'm glad we went to the road bed. Yeah, quieter. Yeah. A lot quieter. Uh, that whoever, I think Jack, or, Jack and my wife said we had to do it. Not, you know, that, that was a. I'm 
would like the court to talk about because I had the cheaper cell text or ceiling tile with the you know, same And Jerry, we're going to stop them over here at JD Cabin and back them through the crossover and back them over and get them out of the way over to, over to mine. We're actually, we're backing, we're backing the loads the wrong way. But this is the, this is basically how the, the Burdette mine turn is going to, going to be, uh, That McKean, that McKean car won't back through that won't back through that crossover. Do you need a new truck? Well, I don't know. I think it's got. I think it must have some. Must have an axle out of gauge or something. Yeah, it might be. I put I put KDs in mine just because it was such an expensive car. I figured, well, nice why not? Boy, it's a good looking car. I got it here in box, but it I couldn't get it to. Uh, it, hey, uh, Gary, make sure that switch is going into the mine over there. What we'll do? What we'll do? We're going to hide this train. Then we we'll also need. We need to switch down to this track here if it isn't already switched. The inside track? Yeah, on the inside one, yeah. Okay. okay. We'll just put that train away while we have a work section. Is, is yours real wiggly though, Gary? Jerry? I have a run. It. We're going to put a switch switch machine on there. Get a pal. Oh, okay, I see. The other thing I do is I don't know that I can paint this hundred percent black before I put the track down to keep it a little brighter up there. You may want to think about that. Paint it black now? Not paint it black. Not paint it black. So you can, you know, see. Yeah. What do we need? Make 